Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I'm a thriftaholic. Welcome to Thrifting is My Beach. I have a small little haul for you. I have been MIA for a few weeks due to the holidays and I honestly just haven't been finding Ow! enough to show you guys oh, when I go thrifting. Here. What? Here. What hurts? Here. Doing some lotion? I see that. Okay. okay, so let's get started. I went to Peoria, Illinois for a doctor's appointment Here. and was only three minutes away from a Goodwill on Pioneer Parkway, which it used to be my favorite spot. I went there about six months ago and I found absolutely nothing. This time I went and everything was completely stocked. The prices were phenomenal, so let's get started. This is probably the highest item as far as resale value that I found. There were probably a couple other resellers, and so they were rolling out, the employees were rolling out new racks of hard goods. And so I was stalking them, following them, and as soon as they parked it, you know, I was grabbing what I had been eyeing. And here is a cuckoo clock with the notorious pine cones. And this is by Bradford Exchange. This is a firefighter one. It's very nice um, wood, and it's heroes for all time. And then this opens, and the cuckoo is a fire truck. So this is very ornate. I found one on eBay. They were asking, I think, a hundred. Not sure if it was the exact one, but I'm going to price mine similarly, and it was five dollars. I will have to have my husband look at this and hopefully clarify that it works. If I can get a video of it cuckooing. Um, I saw on Instagram yesterday that eBay added a new video feature, which I'm not familiar with. I haven't seen it personally, but I typically add a video on YouTube and then link it in the description. So, okay. Also, it was a Star Wars day. I just, I hit the lottery as far as people donating and the, the stuff that they were pricing and putting out the time I was there. Uh, my family, we're a big Star Wars family, not myself personally, but my husband and my two sons. So these items are not for sale but I could not pass them up for myself personally. Here we have a Williams Sonoma Star Wars pancake molds. The, um, they are really cute. Uh, they were like $2.50. Williams Sonoma is kind of pricier, not Sonoma that you get at Kohl's, but this is Williams Sonoma. And one of these, like Yoda is still in the plastic. So it looks like they used them maybe once. And my, uh, my husband, my son recently picked out some Lucky Charms pancake mix that I haven't made yet. So this will be motivation for me to maybe make some tonight. The next item I got not to sell <laughs> is this Star Wars Lego book. Of course, we have tons of Legos everywhere. I'm always stepping on them. But what's neat is the figure, minifigure, is actually still in the package. A lot of times you see these at the thrifts, they're well loved, and the minifigure is missing. We do not have this version, and this was only $2.50. Great score. The last Star Wars item that I'm going to show you is this really nice ceramic mug. It's for the Mandalorian. My husband really loves this show. And it was $2, and it's got the silicone. I do drink coffee, so I'm guessing I'll be the one using it. Plus, it's ceramic, so I'm not going to let my kids use it because it will break. Now, two personal items for myself, and then I promise we'll get to the stuff to resell that I'll make money on. The personal items I spent $40 on. I will also put up here a picture in the corner of a $100 um, Little Tykes diaper changing baby station. It is missing a few of like the small accessories, but my daughter could not care less. It's very quality, thick plastic, and it uh, has a little extension to put your baby in, to feed them. It's got diaper changing, and it is just perfect for her. She's two and a half. It is kind of big, but we'll make room for it. Totally worth it. $10, retailed for 100 Happy with that. Barely fit it in my car. Barely. Okay. I found this tray on a new rack. It was $5. This is actually a handcrafted, upcycled, reclaimed wood and metal made out of Indiana. They had it for $5, and this retails for $100. It's a beautiful piece. 
These are for myself personally. I just absolutely love the fake patina, but these do have some weight to them. So I think these are cast iron. Just a little ladybug and grasshopper with, you know, like the fake brown patina, but really cute. Can't go wrong for a dollar a piece. I'm not sure if I'll put these maybe in a plant. I have a lot of plants in my house. So I'm guessing they'll just be a little decoration. Can't pass those up. The prices, like I said, were just phenomenal. And then this little guy, I have no idea what he is. Uh, Mandalorian the Child, he is very teeny tiny. Like, can you see in comparison to my hand how big this little guy is? But he's still new in the box. He was $2. I will look him up later and he may be actually too small for my kids. They may not have any interest in that. So I may resell him. We'll wait and see. Okay, the items that I got today are not my typical items. If you are an OG, you know I typically find like vintage, whatnot. I think I found maybe two vintage items today. So the rest are modern, some going to thread up, some I will sell myself. Okay, so here we have a moth, which is a brand sold at Anthropology sweater turtleneck sweater the reason i got this because it's not i don't personally think it's very cute it's a cream and gray but it is an alpaca wool blend so no pilling it's a great condition there's a teeny tiny snag but those are easily fixable the next item i got i have never seen an 100 percent alpaca cardigan and i apologize my daughter got a, to a loud toy recently and she just is driving off so this is alpaca in colors of pink and red. Perfect for current holiday Valentine's. I need to get this listed. This was $4. All right, my daughter is going to join me so she can stay happy while I finish my video. All right, so here's another great find. I love the print on this. It's a metallic gold. This was $8. However, it's Alice and Olivia. It is new with tags also. Is that pretty sweater? So this one does not have the MSRP on it, but it has new tags. Unfortunately, it's a size zero, but I'm thinking I can get about $80 for it. And I will sell that one myself. You know, this one up a little bit higher. This is my one vintage item I found in the men's department. This is a men's geometric sweater. I absolutely love the colors. It's got pink and a bunch of like diamonds and shapes. Okay. The next one is also, yeah. also, no, oh, this is not. Okay, this is H by Halston, which is a diffusion line. She just took her phone out of her diaper. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's just a simple beige girl. I did not teach her that. <laughs> uh, open front drapey cardigan. The next one, and I probably will just send, it's so boring. I'm just going to probably send it into thread up, and that was $4. This next item is also for thread up, and it is linen fog. Linen fog does very well. Um, I typically only send in modern pieces. The last coat I sent in, I think I got $60 payout for, and it was just like this, but it was a 1X. This is a medium, but it's a trench coat. Very classic style and great condition. The next item I got for thread up, and that jacket was half off. I think it was $5.50. This was $4.39. And this is just a simple the sack. Okay, so this hold on, we got one more piece, girl. Uh, the sack right here. Soft hands, please. I always look for wear on these purses. I only get them if there's no signs of wear. Please back up. Thank you. And the stitching needs to be well. If there's a loose stitch, I will not get it because thread up um, obviously will not sell it. They will sell something that has minor signs of wear. Oh, I know. All right, and this last piece I have to show you guys is just a simple Michael by Michael Kors. However, it's a brown tweed, very classic style blazer. This was half off, so I only paid $4 for it. I won't pay much for Michael Kors, but it's more of a substantial piece, and I will be sending that into thread up and hopefully make some money. So... I hope you guys enjoyed my video. She just pulled her phone out of her diaper again. I will need to sanitize that because I'm sure it smells, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, 
Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. And I will see you soon in a couple of weeks. Yeah. I have an announcement to make, kind of. In a couple of weeks, I'm yeah. doing my last hurrah yeah. as I am due soon with a baby. Um, I am going to do uh, thrifting across Illinois. So I will be hitting um, my area and then I'm going to be going down south around the Jacksonville, Illinois area. And I will be filming. I'll be doing thrift with me's and I'll be doing hauls all along the way so you get to see all the goodies I find. While I stock up a money pile for when I'm on maternity leave and I can't really leave the house. So I will talk. Also, I forgot to show off my kids art. No, just joking. Um, I also forgot to mention that here in central Illinois, the Goodwills offer what's called the rewards program. For every $100 you spend, you get $10. So, of course, I accrue that like every other week. So, everything I showed you, I got $10 off. So, the items I got to resell, I only paid a total of $32.